Hey everybody, this is the gospel for the third Sunday of Lent. How's Lent going? What are you guys feeling at this point? What have you changed or how have you turned around? What have you given up? It's a good thing to think about as we uh, approach the halfway point. So here we go. This is a gospel according to John. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove them all out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He poured out the coins of the money changers, and he overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But Jesus was speaking of the temple of his body. And after he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. When Jesus was in Jerusalem during the Passover festival, many believed in his name because they saw the signs that he was doing. But Jesus, on his part, would not entrust himself to them because he knew all people. And he needed no one to testify about anyone, for he himself knew what was in everyone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has a moment. He starts flipping tables. Can you imagine? Have you ever spilled even just a little bit of change on the floor? Have you ever dropped a jar of change on the floor? It's, it scatters everywhere. It bounces. It makes a racket. Quarters and pennies and dimes roll. <laughs> and, and then he... Uh, it's kind of funny because at this moment, he's like in the temple, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves. And the money changers seated at their tables. There's no transition here. He just makes a whip out of cords <laughs> and he goes after them. But this, this is, it's not a small feat to make a whip either. It's something that he was very intentional about. And we have to understand what was happening because it doesn't make sense if we just see money changers and animals in the temple and Jesus goes ballistic on all of them. Why? Because these money changers had created a barrier between people and God, the act of sacrifice. So these animals were all designated for sacrifice. And people would come in and they would purchase these animals. And then they would be able to make their sacrifices. But these money changers were making a racket out of it. They were making money on people coming to pray. It, it would be like the equivalent of going to church on Sunday and, and the CWL or the Knights of Columbus standing there with their bake sale tables or their pancake breakfast and sausage, which are both awesome, by the way, except one small difference. It would be at the beginning of church and you wouldn't be able to get in unless you bought the small, medium or large plate of pancakes. That's what Jesus was protesting against. These guys had rigged it against the poor. If you didn't have money, you didn't come to pray. You couldn't offer a right sacrifice. So Jesus was having none of it, and he flipped the tables over, and he cleared the place out. He's like, there's not going to be any barriers between my people and their father, my people and my father. Well, I might say, like, isn't anger a sin? It's not a sin if it's righteous anger. And that's what Jesus calls us to align ourselves with in him to love the things that he loves and to be angry at the things that anger him.
injustice, mercilessness, greed. And so we can take heart that Jesus has a passion for people and their relationship with God. And that's ultimately what he comes to do at Easter, is break down the final barriers between us and his Father. Amen. God loves you guys. So do I. See you next week.